Hello viewers, today we are going to um, install power to the electric panel which, has, which we've uh, built and uh, installed in the factory. So the electric, the electric control panel is going to be controlling a, a production line. And today what, I'm what I intend to do is to power it. I'm going to uh, send power to it with this uh, steel armored cable. This steel armored cable has five core. Each of them, each of the five cores is a 16, has uh, a cross section of 16 square meters. The SWA is the, the, the steel armored uh, protection that it has. You can see the steel armored protection it has around here. So we need to connect it to the panel. But to be able to do that, we need to install a steel armored gland. This is something special. And we're going to, I'm going to just do a quick demonstration of how it's gonna, how it can, it's gonna be connected. So this is a demonstration of how the steel armored cable is connected. So first of all, I want you to see what we have here. So these are the things that we need to be able to uh, do this. We need, we need to get um, the gland kit. The gland key depends on the on the cable, on the characteristics of the cable that you want to connect. So here we have the soffit, the cross section of the cable. And here we have the number of cores. So what we have here is five uh, five core, so five five wires here. And each of the wire is 16 mil, 16 square mil in a, a cross section. So we have to look for 16. So here's 16. Take it down to 5 and 16. So we, what, we what we need is 25. We need CW25. So this is CW25. So this means that this is what we have here, CW25 in the pack of, um, of this gland kit. So in it, we'll get the gland, the, the SWA gland, gland pack, we have the shroud, and also we have the 18 ring, or they all come together. If we take it apart, we're gonna have the, these are the gland nuts. We have the gland nuts. We have the gland nuts, we have the pressure ring, and we have the gland body pressure ring. These are the gland nuts. Gland nuts. Pressure ring. And this is the gland body. And then the locking nuts. And this will kind of go somewhere in between. So this is how it's going to be mounted. So this one goes in, this one goes in like that. So this is like a explode explosive view of how it's going to be mounted. So, uh, first of all, what we have to do is to mount the shroud first. First of all, you have to find out where exactly you want to, um, have to leave enough cable, enough length, have to leave enough length, enough length of cable that will go inside the panel. Let's say we want to, we want to connect it here, so we're going to fit all these things in the panel. We're going to distribute this part in the panel. So we want to fit it here. So what we do is that we can use a tape to mark the, the spot. Mark the spot where we want to install the gland. So after you've marked the spot where you want to install into the panel, this is where you, you're going to connect it. The next thing is to do the shroud. Measure the shroud and uh, cut, you know. So now we know the shroud is going to be, it's going to be somewhere here. So you mark it. We mark the shroud and we cut it. So that's, that's where we've marked. So we just slice it off. 
And then before anything, we have to put the straw, straw in first. It's a bit tight, but I always like to, to make it tight. But the straw has gone in, so we take it all the way back. Take it all the way back. It's gone. And now we can uh, we can cut it. We can start to cut now. And make sure you cut all around. Cut the metal inside. Cut all around of it. You have to examine it and make sure that it's gone all around it. And try and keep it as straight as possible. Now the next thing is to peel it. Keep it like this, away from you. Have to be careful with the knife because it's kind of dangerous. So make sure you keep it away from you like this. And then you start to peel it. It should go off easily. You know. Just keep it away from you as you peel it. So that's it. Okay, you can take it a few at a time, unwind it. And you break it off. And you can break it off here. Assuming you, the indentation is there, it should come off easy. It should be easy to break off. Okay. I'll do a few, take a few more. Take a few more. Unwind it. I will take the last part of it. Break it off. So here's what we have now. Insert the insert the gland notes. Inside the pressure ring, pressure ring. And now we can measure. So we take it maybe like uh, 15 millimeters. We cut it, cut the the plastic, but leave about 15 millimeters, and we cut it like that. Just the plastic. This is the part that's going to, to be on the gland body. I don't want it to affect the cable.
okay now we want to open this we want it to be open so that you can accept the the glam body so we just roll it like that you roll it roll it like that see it's getting it's opening just roll it like that you know roll it roll it like that this is 16 um, 16 mil and five core and it's quite a bit heavy, heavy duty anyway now we can input the, the the glam body in and we can put the glam body in so you see where where it starts you don't want to climb on the you don't want to climb on the on the thread just leave it there and then you bring the ring you have to make sure that the ring is in the right position if this ring is not in the right position it's not going to fit in so you have to if it doesn't fit in you have to bring out the ring and turn it around and make sure that the ring is in the right position and then because if not you're not going to be able to put the the knot around it so once the ring, the ring is in the right position you can see what you can see how it is now so this is going to put pressure on it when we tighten this knot the gland knot it's going to put pressure on the ring and this is not going to slip away anymore so what we just we're going to keep this one stable while we tighten show you again we'll keep this one stable keep it steady and while we tighten the knots you can tighten it by hand first you can feel it that it's getting tight and then use a sp use a spanner to hold this one steady while you tighten this one with another spanner but I haven't got a 36 spanner here this is 36 spanner that I, that I require here so I'm just going to get um, a grip I'm going to use this grip to tighten it you know while this one keeps it steady tighten it with this one it's kind of moving to capture every movement but it looks looks like impo it's impossible okay this is supposed to hold it stable hold it steady hold that one steady it's supposed to hold this one steady yeah hold it steady well I use this one to tighten this one So it's tight now. You can see it's not going to pull out. No matter what you do, that's done. So this is going to increase the IP, the the lower part of the the knot, the lock knot, which is hiding in here. So here's the lower part of the lock nut. And so now we want to uh, you want to leave some gap here when you when you want to peel it so that the, 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 it does not touch here because if it touches here because it's going to be ethered, it's going to be it might go down to you will be able to you will. Uh, be taking the, the face to earth so because this is going to be the ethane ring the, the earth is going to connect, be connected to the ethane ring so you don't want to peel the cable around here you're going to give it some space where you peel the cable maybe uh, somewhere here don't don't dig deep, too deep you know don't dig too deep see and dig too deep.
and you have the locking nut once because it says 25 mil here it says 25 so that means the hole we're going to punch into the panel is going to be 25 mil we're going to use a 25 mil uh, drill bit to punch, punch a hole and then that's what's going to fit in here this one is going to fit into a 25 mil hole and then we lock it up and then we have all this wire left here to do our connection so thanks for viewing and i hope you enjoy this one and uh don't forget to subscribe and put a like button press the like button if you like what we're, what we're doing or if you learned anything thank you and catch you on the next one bye